Hello everybody, Lynn the Leather Bag Lady here. Long time no see. Uh, it's been uh, a week, uh, last week vacation, um, last vacation of the year. So uh, I was busy trailer shopping and doing all kinds of fun stuff. So wasn't able to, uh, to do any videos except for the one <laughs> at the Legion. If you saw that, we uh, decided to go to the Legion Wingding on uh, Saturday night, which was an experience. Uh, Dunville, Ontario is a very, very, very small uh, town. Um, lots of fishing, lots of trailer parks, a um, little redneck, a few people may say, but I love it. I absolutely love it and uh, stumbled upon it uh, through um, a friend and I just think it's the best place. So that's where we were. Anyway, got three nice bags for you today. Uh, more beige, more brown. So, just keeps coming. So this is um, very utilitarian. Nothing really all that special. Uh, it's kind of a mushroom uh, beige color. Nothing on the back, no pockets. There is a little blemish there and another little one here. So, um, what I like about this bag is that it's just, it's light. It's very simple. It has a pocket in the front. It has a zipper inside, a zipper here. Nothing on the back, as I said. So you not only do you have a zipper across here, you have a magnetic closure. Strap is not long at all. It's going to be a shoulder bag for sure, unless you're teeny weeny and you can get that across your body. It's got a nice little uh, gusset piece on the bottom. So um, that's a, it's just nice. It'll, if you've got stuff in it, it'll stand up by itself and easy to get into. There is a little bit of uh, wear, uh, not, not all the way through by any means, but just a little bit of color um, coming away here. Just a great 80s everyday bag. Would I say it was, it could actually be 70s actually. It's made in Korea, which um, is how good quality stuff was made. Grain cowhide made in Korea. Yeah, so there's no uh, serial number or anything, but um, it could be 70s actually but great little bag you're just looking for something simple but you want something a little different there is a little emblem here carriage court is the the name I'm not familiar with that at all and then it's got the little horse carriage here if you can see it yeah so nothing too special but it, it's simple now this guy is some hand uh, got a lot of hand tooling and it has a nice long strap so you're going to be able to put this uh, crossbody for sure it's got a nice little gusset and then all this lace work all the way around the the closure is a buckle inside it's just very very raw very plain inside But it's got some beautiful colors, and that's like a, I don't know what that is. But it, it's cool. It's nice. It's a 70s hand-tooled, beautiful little bag. Nice size. We'll get a phone in there, no problem. So that's bag number two. Bag number three is kind of interesting. I, I like it. The only issue I think people are going to have with it is the shoulder strap and it's only a magnetic closure. But look at the lining. Look at that lining. And it has um, Agent Honey. Don't know anything about Agent Honey. But it's cute. The leather is lovely. It's got a nice uh, nice kind of gusset on the bottom so it is going to hold some stuff 
it's got um, a leather I think this has been handcrafted to be honest I, I have a feeling and even a little bit of blue leather like just somebody's taken a lot of care to coordinate not only the blue lining the blue phone pouch but a blue stripe in between nice nice bag the leather quality is beautiful nice and soft and it's got you know studding on the side I don't know you this would be a I don't really care if I close my purse I know I've talked about this before first time I get my wallet stolen I'm sure I'll feel differently about that but it's I'm in and out of my bag way too much it's too much of a pain in the butt to keep opening and closing so I prefer these wide open bags that you can get into it no matter what part of the bag you're at so cute little bag so these three are available as always um, in my Etsy store there's the address right there um, oh I didn't even notice see this is it graduates it's a little bit of a triangle shape yeah just little things like that yeah anyway so that's my three bags for today hopefully what's tomorrow mm, I may or may not be able to uh, spend some time with you tomorrow but for sure Thursday Thursday I think I'm gonna do a, a bunch of videos all day Thursday and that way I can kind of dish them out um, as we go okay so hope you're all well if you are enjoying the videos please consider subscribing or at least uh, say hello let me know who's out there watching uh, the videos it's uh, early days for me yet but I think this is going to be video number 47 of the numbered uh, bag videos and there's a few prior to that that weren't numbered so we're up over 50 now so if you're following me thank you I appreciate it and if you're uh, stumbled on this just happen chance then as I said please consider subscribing and have some fun with me as we move forward in this little project of mine uh, typically three vintage bags a day and as we uh, clear up those vintage bags we'll get into some of the newer stock that I have okay Take care. We'll see you soon.